beautiful people welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel if you guys are new here my name is gianna leon and today i'm giving you guys basically the ultimate book shopping <laughs> so i wanted to give you guys another book shopping vlog because i know how much you love them but today we're gonna do it a little bit different and it's the ultimate book shopping because i went to one book thrift store and then i obviously had to go to the regular bookstore as well so we have two bookstores in this video and it's just a fun little vlog and i picked up some really really cool books you guys are gonna see that and then I will obviously give you guys a haul. buy an actual book. Since we're already at the mall, we gotta get some starps. Duh. Okay, you guys, I'm back with a haul. Ah, okay. I ended up getting five books. Kind of insane, I know. <laughs> I was not expecting to pick up this many books, but we all know every time I go to the bookstore, I always end up getting more than I thought I was going to. So I'm giving you guys a haul. First, I'm gonna start with the books that I ended up getting at the thrift store. And the first one I got was The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson, Stieg Larsson. This is a very known book, very classic. There's two other books in the series. It's The Girl Who Played With Fire and The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. It is a trilogy. This is the first book in it. I've known about this book forever. I always see it at the thrift stores, but they always have the smaller edition of this, but this was actually a full-size paperback, so I knew I had to get it when I finally found it. And I ended up getting this book for $5.99, 
perfect condition. The thrift bookstores never fail. I'm telling you guys that. I will never stop telling you guys that because you just have to go and see what you can find. But this one is more of just a thriller, murder mystery, adult fiction. It's having all those vibes, but I hear it's very suspenseful. And I just heard so many good things about this. And I kind of just want to know the hype because of how classic this book is. So I was so happy that I finally found this and I actually bought it this time because I always see it. And then the other two books that I picked up from the thrift bookstore was actually a duet. So we have If I Stay by Gail Foreman and then the second one is Where She Went by Gail Foreman. So I always see it at the thrift store as well. They're definitely older books, but this time I was like, hmm, maybe I'm actually gonna pick it up this time. Plus these were the best condition I've seen both of these books in. So I knew that it was kind of, it was kind of meant to be. I got each of these for $5.99 and there's people on the covers. I know I'm not happy about it either, but I don't know. I just, I've heard lots of good things about this surprisingly and they are older, but they are rated really, really good on Goodreads, I'm pretty sure. I just want to know the hype. I want to know. And apparently they're supposed to be super, super dark. Oh, it also says that it's kind of similar to The Lovely Bones by Alice Sebold, which I have right here. I still have not read it, but it says that it's reminiscent of that book. And it says, Foreman is a master at creating memorable characters and at tugging the heartstrings enough to keep us turning the pages as we sob our eyes out. And that was a quote from Buffalo News. Very interesting, but it says, on a day that started like any other, Mia had everything, a loving family, a gorgeous adoring boyfriend, and a bright future full of music and full of choices. Then in an instant, almost all of that is taken from her. Caught between life and death, between a happy past and an unknowable future, Mia spends one critical day contemplating the only decision she has left, the most important decision she'll ever make. Simultaneously tragic and hopeful, this is a romantic, riveting, and ultimately uplifting story about memory, music, living, dying, and loving. That just already seems kind of devastating. It's gonna be like one of those devastating but impactful books and I don't know if I'm ready for it. So these were the other two books that I picked up from the thrift store as well and hopefully I will get to them sometime soon. Moving on to the books from the bookstore, I ended up picking up two new ones and they both are actually new releases so I'm happy I got my hands on them right when they dropped but the first one is Romantic Comedy by Curtis Sittenfield. This one I've seen all over Goodreads right before it released and I knew I had to pick it up, especially the cover. I've raved about this cover a few times now. I'm obsessed with it and it's pink. One one of my favorite colors we all know this it was just so necessary but this one seems really really cute we have like a feel-good cringy rom com moment it's basically about a comedy writer who thinks she's sworn off love until a dreamy pop star flips a script on all her assumptions so basically we have our main character sally she's a writer for a live comedy show she's basically kind of a little lost with love she got into a bad breakup she's kind of hopping between hookups but then there's the new pop music sensation noah Bruce. Rooster, and he's known for dating models, so he's not really into all the generalized women, the more basic women, but it says that their spark seems to be flying, but smoking hot male celebrities never date average women, and life is in a romantic comedy, right? Just by the synopsis, it seems super crazy. It seems like there's gonna be a lot of drama, which we all know I love a drama-filled book, so super excited that I picked this one up, especially because it's brand new, and I get to see the hype right before it really, really blows up in the book community so hopefully I get to this soon and I'm very very happy that I picked this up. And the last book I picked up was kind of on a whim, but it's also a new release. It's How to Kill Men and Get Away With It by Katie Brent. And first of all, this cover like that already drew me in. Right when I saw this cover and the title, I was like Mm, I kind of need to read that book right now. So to tell you guys about what it's about, it says meet Kitty Collin, friend, lover, killer. <laughs> and it's described as a deliciously dark, hilariously twisted story about friendship, love, and murder. Crazy, 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 crazy. Literally just so crazy. So we basically have our main character literally on a killing spree. She's obsessed with killing. She can't stop. It just seems so crazy and it was too crazy enough for me not to buy it. And I don't know, something about this book just makes me feel like I'm really, really going to enjoy it. It's definitely gonna be something different and dark and mysterious and suspenseful and that is exactly what I'm in the mood for, especially for spring. But yeah, these are all the books that I picked up in our little book shopping journey. I'm very happy with the five books that I purchased. Wasn't expecting to buy that many, but 
it just happens sometimes. <laughs> I did actually want to go to a few more thrift stores in this, but for some reason, I don't know what it is in Canada, but thrift bookstores just don't want to be open on Thursdays. It's weird. I don't know. So a lot of the ones that I wanted to go to were actually closed. So I will be doing another just thrift book shopping video coming soon. Hopefully keep a lookout for that. But I'm really happy that I still got to go to at least one thrift bookstore and then the obviously regular bookstore as well. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this ultimate book shopping vlog. It was so fun to film. I think that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And with that, I hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye! It's actually really good. I haven't read it yet though. <laughs> how do you know it's really good if you haven't read it? Are you struggling? I am struggling. Oh. Ew! No! Illegal! Illegal. Scared the shit out of me. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sweating so bad right now. Where are you? Where are you? Trying to see. Oh. Don't get me. No, you're oh. your other one. Duh. <laughs> Oh, something tastes different about this. Mine tastes weird too. Maybe it's the milk. Mm. This is a... Uh, hello. Got to go to at least one thrift... Thrifts. I'm really happy that I ended up... Oh my gosh, Gianna. Caffeine doesn't mix with you good. Mm.